competitive? What have they done during the off season, you know, that you can point to either player wise or group wise, if there's a group that, that's kind of caught your eye that kind of highlights what you're talking about? Yeah. I don't think that you can have competition unless you build it into your training. And so what we did is our team has broken it up into eight different teams led by uh, a team leader. And each and every week they're competing uh, in the weight room, in conditioning, in running, in the classroom, in the community. And each team accumulates points. And so uh, what I can tell you for certain is that that competition is one that they love to be involved in. They want to go against each other. They want to push each other um, to competitive greatness, both on and off the field. So if I didn't see that amongst the group, it would be pretty easy um, to notice. And, and you know, talking to our strength staff, Matt, ba Matt, Matt Bayless, he's loved the competitive spirit week in and week out um, of these groups going against each other. Is there any one group, two groups that stood out? Well, you know, they draft the teams. So of the eight, uh, what we call SWAT teams, the leaders draft uh, those that are on their team. And so you could say that some are maybe better suited at drafting than others, uh, looking for balance. But I can tell you about consistent leadership, Sam Mustafer stood out as a consistent leader. Not that the others were inconsistent, but he was always at the top of the group. Now, I don't know if that says to his being a great leader or he's just a future GM, one or the <laughs> other, but it was, uh, he was pretty apparent.